Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing the Ram ProMaster. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this van. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a 3.6-liter V6 that goes through a 9-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 276 horsepower and then 250 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So you guys can see the cab lights there at the very top here with the ProMaster. And then popping down below, we do have halogen lights there for the headlights. And then you can see the fog lights down below. Got the Ram logo there front and center. And notice how this is just plastic here. So that's going to hold up a lot better than if it was painted, for example. Uh, but yeah, putting it all together, it's a cargo van. So there you go. Now on the side here, our tire wheel setup is 225, 75, 16 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels silver there, which is pretty cool. And they got these chunky fender flares, got the big mirrors here on the side. And then you can see the molding there on the side. And then since we're here, we'll open up the, well, apparently the door is not unlocked, which I guess that this is a uh, great opportunity to show you guys the uh, key fob here where we can unlock the door. So there we go. Nice, easy. Uh, this one has the flooring added to it. So you don't have to worry about scraping painted sections and getting in is easy. I mean, you do have to kind of do like a, kind of like a half squat getting up or a lunge. You might be able to see it as, um, but yeah, I mean, that's great. And then headroom. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is tall. Um, you could, let's see, you could fit in here. I think you'd start hitting your head if you were like six foot three ish. And then you'd, you'd probably start, you know, knocking into these little things. But yeah, I mean, this is this is solid with the high roof, and you got storage up here. That's crazy. Or if you have cats, I guess it's a bunk bed for your cats. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, cargo area and the cargo van. And getting out, pretty easy. I mean, if you're a, of a more experienced age, you might want to put a sidestep there, but. And then here's the key fob that I showed earlier, so you can see the lock and unlock functionality and then the RAM logo. And then out back, we've got the swing doors, which do go out pretty far. So these don't have like a uh, latch system, like what you have with some other cargo vans. So you just keep kind of pushing them and then eventually locks out there, which I mean, that's a very wide opening for the rear. And then you've just got this little handle here for the other door, it does the same exact Thing, so pretty straightforward, um, but yeah, that's definitely a nice setup and it does have an interior handle too, which is nice Pretty easy to use. I will say that actually I don't think I closed that all the way. No, I did interesting uh, And then you've got your badges here on the back got the big tail lights there cameras at the very top Which is always funny to me and then the bumper does double as a step into the rear So putting it all together there is the Ram ProMaster no windows and lots of white paint now inside you get some padding where you're gonna rest your arm and then there's decent storage down below and then also looks like you could use that as storage as well. And then you've got your uh, fuel filler door, which I forgot, it's on the side with the rams. I just reviewed a transit the other day and you pull it that way in the transit. Anyways, I like these seats. Nice cloth trim down the center. Parking brake there and then that's to open up the hood and then you can see here for like fog lights. And then the steering wheel, it's manually adjustable. And then you give it this nice step to get in. Now take a look at the steering wheel, uh, more basic with the material use, it's cargo van at the end of the day, but we do have stuff like adaptive cruise control, controls for the center stack, radio controls in the back of the steering wheel as well. And then you can see the stocks here on the back. And then with the gauge cluster, it's analog on either side, but you do have that screen there in the center, which you can use to see different bits of info on the ProMaster. Got your backup camera, which is a very interesting viewpoint because it's at the top of the van. And that's why the trajectory lines are so small in comparison to the overall viewpoint with it. Uh, but uh, as for the infotainment system itself, interesting clicking noise. Response time is good. It's just a smaller unit. And then you've got the shifter here for that nine speed automatic. You do have a tow haul mode. 
Uh, analog controls for the radio, your climate control, single zone climate, if you're wondering, get your lock button there in the center, stability control, and then some charging right here. And then notice the storage there, and that's above the glove box. And then you got more storage right there, and then some cup holders there on the bottom as well. Uh, and then big old sun visors inside here too. So here's the window sticker for this particular ProMaster. Um, you guys can see the whole spec side of things on this. And a lot of stuff is standard with the ProMaster, which is nice. I do have a few options on this. There's your total MSRP, 52465 Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors. And yeah, there's no visibility throughout the rest of the rear because it's a windowless, well, not completely windowless. Obviously we got the front windows, but you get the point. Setting off in the ProMaster. I feel like I've done quite a few cargo van reviews lately. I did the Transit. Uh, that one was the lower roof version. I did that uh, Transit Trail. Well, I think it was the Trail Edition. It was the off-road one. That was pretty cool. That was like a couple months ago, though. So I will say, setting off smooth with the transmission. Now, with cargo vans, the suspension with them is not comfortable. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's meant for it's meant for capability more than anything and i just realized i did not show the payload in the walk around so at the end of the driving we'll take a quick look at the uh, payload because i know that's very important for those of you watching this video so made a made an oopsie but we'll fix the oopsie by the end so and this this nine speed does a pretty good job it's smooth The V6, I mean, it's not, this isn't fast by any means, but it's, it's decent, it moves. Pretty good pace. It's not exciting though, like the new diesel and the Mercedes Sprinter and then like, you know, the high output there and then the EcoBoost. I think that's my favorite engine in the cargo van is that EcoBoost V6 and the Fords. Just not sure about the long-term reliability. This uh, Pentastar V6 has been proven to be reliable long-term. Makes sense, naturally aspirated, no turbos. Doesn't have to deal with all the emissions junk that is on the diesel. It's kind of a tragedy with the diesels. I mean, it's not fast, but it moves. <laughs> I think it's pretty decent. I think it's pretty decent. When you're on smooth pavement, it's not too bad. It's just going to go over bumps that, again, it's got leaf springs and all that, so it makes sense. It's easy to drive. I always feel like I'm going to hit the trees, though, in cargo vans because their roof is so high. Yeah, it drives well. I like this. So to sum things up here with the Ram ProMaster, you know, front wheel drive, I think that Ram, I don't know why Ram hasn't fixed that yet because yeah, I get that, you know, a lot of people don't need the all wheel drive with the cargo vans, but there's a lot of people that do. So I think that would open up Ram's market quite a bit if they added all wheel drive. And then this engine, I think it's fine. You know what would be cool is that new Hurricane engine in the cargo van, that would be crazy. 500 horsepower cargo van. Who needs that? Nobody, but it would be cool. Um, yeah, but, but I mean it drives well. It's got good specs um, overall, and it's you know it's priced reasonably. When you I mean the the Transit and the in the uh, Sprinter have gotten so expensive. And this is still I mean fifty thousand dollars. It's not cheap by any means, but yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad. Ooh, they got a black Final Edition T Rex. They got lots of those Final Edition T Rexes. Let's see if I can make this turn without clipping the tree and without clipping that truck. Yeah, not too bad. Again, it's it's a bigger vehicle, but I think that you can I think that you can definitely get used to it. So let's quickly take a look at the payload. And it is three thousand and or sorry, three thousand eight hundred and three pounds is the payload. And this is a fifteen hundred. That's impressive. Let me know what you think.